Grammar is the structural foundation of our ability to express ourselves. The more we are aware how it works, the more we can monitor the effectiveness of the way we and others use of languages. First, A. The study of how words and the component parts to combine to form sentences. B. The study of structural relationships in language or in language sometimes including pronunciation and meaning. 2. A. The system of inflection, syntax and word formation of a language. B. The system of rules implicit in a language viewed as a mechanism for generating all sentences possible in that language. 3. A. A normative or prescriptive set of rules setting forth the current standard of usage for reference purposes. B. Writing or speed judge with regard to such a set of rules. 4. A book containing the morphologic, syntactic and semantic rules for a specific language. 5th. A. The basic principles of an area of lamp knowledge. B. A book dealing with such principles. It is necessary to know grammar and it is better to write grammatically than not. But it is well to remember that grammar is common speech formulated. Usage is the only test. Example. I gave my sister a sweater for her birthday. The meaning of the sentence is created by words such as gave sister sweater and birthday. But there are other words I, my, a, for her which contribute to the meaning and aspects of individual words and the way they are arranged enable us to interpret what the sentence means.